sisi ni wabunge wa upande wa azimio tukisema kwamba jana yale yaliyojiri muliaona wote ya kwamba yale maandamano yetu yaliweza kufaulu Uweza kufaulu na kufanikisha yale ambayo tulikuwa tunatarajia kuyafanya kitu cha kwanza tunataka kusema katika uongozi ambao tunaongozwa na baba Raila Molo Odinga tumesema ya kwamba ni sharti bei ya vyakula vyote ambavyo wa Kenya wanavitumia bei ya maisha irudi chini kwa hiyo tuko hapa kuwaeleza wa Kenya ya kwamba vile ambavyo tulisema ni lazima vitekelezwe ndio tuone hali ya maisha taenda namna gani ndani ya Kenya bila hivyo hatuwezi kukubali na tumesema tutarudi tena Jumatatu tutakuwa katika uwanja tena huu huu wa Nairobi kwa hiyo hawa ndugu zangu tuko nao pamoja hapa sisi tumekubaliana ya kwamba muongozo ulioko hivi sasa tumekubaliana na maagizo yake ya kwamba tutaendelea na maandamano kwa sababu maandamano yetu yote tunofanya ni ya amani nataka kumpisha secretary general aweze kuendelea kiongozi walio wachache katika bunge walio wengi i will be very brief uh, before i give way for our sg to also say some few things but let me just echo what uh, uh, leader mazayo has already said that kenyans uh, from all walks of life uh, yesterday made us proud as a country as you can see this movement is no longer just about azimio as these kenya kwanza people are mistaken to believe this movement is growing by the day and indeed if you are keen enough you must have realized that those who turned up for these demonstrations were people who belong to all political formations there were very many people who even never voted for azimio in the last elections but they turned up in their numbers and therefore this movement can no longer be trivialized in the manner the Kenya Kwanza uh, people are attempting to do. But more importantly, more importantly, it must be made clear that we are in this for the long haul. If anyone is thinking that this is merely an activity that is going to end sometime soon, then is living in a different planet. We are in this until all our demands are met. And those demands will have to be met. And we are very clear on them. You open the server, you involve all stakeholders in the reconstitution of the IBC, and you reduce the cost of living. Do those three things, and you will find Nairobi returning to normalcy and the rest of the country. There are no two ways about it. No two ways about it. No amount of propaganda, no amount of press conferences, no amount of lamentations is going to cure this problem. Just deal with those three issues. The chest stamping must come to an end, as it will soon come to an end, for sure. We want also to caution the police against engaging in arbitrary arrests of innocent Kenyans who are going about exercising their democratic right under the Constitution. And on that note, we demand that all those youth who were illegally arrested yesterday and are languishing in various police stations be released immediately and unconditionally. Thank you very much.